Alright, man, the battle between 50 Cent and Young Buck continues in court. Now, 50 Cent, you know, pretty much, you know, claims that G-Unit owns Young Buck's musical catalog and is pretty much fighting in court to try to stop all payments going out. Now, once again, 50 Cent own, you know, claims he owns the rights to Young Buck's publishing as a dispute over royalty flares up in bankruptcy court. Now, let's go back a little bit to get you guys caught up on what happened, right? Young Buck, if you guys want to wear, Young Buck filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy in January of 2020 due to his accumulating debt to several creditors, including the IRS, his ex-girlfriend, and 50 Cent. Now, earlier this year, Young Buck was accused of withholding his royalty statement from ASCAP. Now, the rapper allegedly tried to hide about $25,000 in royalties sent to his publishing company called Mouthful of Ice. Now, last month, right, all hip-hop broke the news that the trustee of the account managed to reach a settlement with Young Buck over the royalties and agreed to a $515 monthly payment plan with Young Buck. However... 50 Cent is saying, nah, hold on, hold on, hold on, right? 50 Cent is looking to terminate the settlement agreement between Young Buck and the bankruptcy trustee because he's saying that the money belongs to G-Unit and he's bringing paperwork to prove it. Now, according to 50, right, he's pretty much saying that the court should deny the compromise because the song copyrights that are purported to be property of Young Buck and the bankruptcy estate are act estate, excuse me, are actually property of G Unit. Now, 50 Cent says Young Buck signed a recording agreement with G Unit back in July of 2014, and 50 said that him and his company actually advanced him $250,000. Now, Young Buck, under this agreement, right, was supposed to record two albums for the label, but he failed to deliver. On those two albums. So the two year period on a deal has yet to start. Now under the terms of the deal. Young Buck signed. G Unit right. Owns the rights to license his music. And is supposed to pay him royalties. In return for the sale rights to his music. Now and I quote right. Here's the actual contracts with a stand right. Under the, under the clear terms of the recording contract. The G Unit property belongs to G Unit because it owns all the works. Compromise such property and Young Buck is only entitled to a percentage of the net proceeds G Unit earns from licensing such works. Therefore, the motion to compromise should be denied. And this is um from 50 Cent's lawyer William Hey Lou, as he explained during the court hearing. Now, 50 claims that the music, right? And the $25,000 in question, this is really about $24,000, um, 22 and 14 cents, right? Belonging to G-Unit. And he wants the judge to over, oversee the case, right? To deny the compromise between Young Buck and the estate in his whole bankruptcy thing. Now, he goes on to say, the compromise is not fair and equitable because the trustee settlement with Young Buck is premised on an incorrect assertion that the G Unit property is property of the estate. It is not. And 50 Cent, you know, lawyer is fighting back. And, you know, ultimately the judge has yet to make a decision in that particular case. So, kind of just to break this thing down in layman's terms, pretty much, you know, um, Young Buck allegedly purportedly signed the contract with G Unit where he was supposed to actually, you know, deliver on the contract. He didn't deliver on the contract, so therefore he's not entitled to anything. It all belongs to G Unit. That's pretty much in a nutshell what fifty cent and his attorneys in um, you know, G Unit, which is the company that he owns, is pretty much saying now Young Buck is trying to, you know, collect. He's still trying to collect, but Fifty's like, nah, you didn't, you know, do what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to give me my two albums and, you know, I'm supposed to, you know, hold these certain rights under the terms of the contract. So it's one of those sticky situations, man. That's why you see you kind of see these guys going back and forth over the Internet. Now, we don't know Young Buck's financial situation just because you file bankruptcy doesn't mean that you're actually broke. I mean, 50 Cent did it himself. Now, there's different types of bankruptcy. You can, you know, go down the line, the 7-Eleven and all that. But um, a lot of times people just kind of get, you know, underwater and they want a chance to, um, you know, 
refocus and kind of restructure their debts so it gives them an opportunity not to be underwater no more but to kind of say okay all right i owe all of this let me get a clean slate and let me just give you this until i'm able to get back on track and a lot of times you know you have that right you know um as an american to to you know file bankruptcy and um they even have one i forget i forget the chapter it is uh, it might be 11 but don't quote me on it is where you wipe out clean like you wipe out clean you don't owe nobody you you, you know i know a lot of people who did that um so it kind of just depends on your financial situation if you own millions of dollars and you ain't got millions of dollars coming in you're going to have to do something because they're going to start attaching your bank account they're going to start coming after things and it gets dirty it gets dirty where they, they, they're coming into your house they're getting your jewelry they're getting your gold teeth they're getting your cars it could get real real dirty but hey contracts are always 9.9 .9 times out of 10 upheld in court if you sign a contract the judge is going to look at the contract and he's supposed to you know um make make the contract be enforceable in court that's just what it's supposed to be now there are different you know instances where you know certain uh contracts can be terminated contracts can be voided um under cases of like fraud and different things like that if certain things weren't performed like, you know, if Young Buck didn't actually perform the contract that he was supposed to do, he would not be entitled to the, the monies that he's trying to receive. This is just simple stuff if you've ever been in court. And if you understand just a little bit of contract law, you understand you got the written contract and you got the verbal contract. Obviously, the written is way easier to prove as, a per, as opposed to 50 Cent coming to say, okay, me and him disagree to this verbally. You got no record of it. It's kind of hard. Now, if you bring him a contract and Young Buck sign that contract with his name, then 50 Cent is going to win this case 100% of the time. It just is what it is. But um, it's business, man. You can you can look at it however you want to look at it. Business is business. And I always say if somebody's not willing to, willing to sign on it or put their signature on it, they're not serious. They're not serious. If you ain't going to sign on it. You're not serious. Like you, you sign on your house. You sign on your car. You sign on your job. You sign on all this stuff. Well, now when it's time to do business, you don't want to sign don't do business with people if they're not willing to sign. That's my, you know, advice and the moral to this story. But it's your brother, Oh God Man, Hip Hop News on Central. I appreciate you guys listening. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this ugly situation that just turned just a little bit uglier. Also, y'all guys already know what to do, man. Hit that like button. Smash the like button real quick. It's simple to do. It's free. And it takes a quick second to do, right? Also, make sure you guys subscribe, man. Subscribe to Hip Hop News Uncensored for more exclusive just like this one and if you get a chance if you get an extra minute man go ahead and share this video and i definitely definitely appreciate you guys also if you go down into the, to the description box right below you can sign up for channel memberships you can follow us on social media and you can go check out the full episodes of the podcast on spotify google play anywhere you listen to podcasts at just click on the link go check us out and we got the full interview the full episodes up for you guys right now man with that being said i appreciate you guys say it with your boy man hip-hop uncensored is the vibe so subscribe peace